Students, let us discuss now about another cell organelle which is common to both the plant cell and the animal cell. Inner to the cell membrane in both the plant and the animal cell, there lies the protoplasm. The protoplasm is transparent and jelly-like. It is the living substance of the cell. Protoplasm consists of water, salt, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, etc. The protoplasm has two parts. Cytoplasm and the nucleus. Students, let us observe the animal cell again. We can see a centrally located spherical structure. This is a nucleus. A nucleus is a round or an oval shaped cell organelle. A plant cell also has a nucleus. But its nucleus is not centrally located like that of an animal cell. A thin membrane surrounds the nucleus. This membrane that surrounds the nucleus is called nuclear membrane. Students, who controls the activities of your family? Your father controls it, doesn't he? Similarly, the nucleus controls all the activities of the cell. The nucleus contains nucleoplasm, nucleolus, chromosomes and chromatin fibers. Students, now, let us observe the plant cell and the animal cell again. There is a jelly-like substance in between the cell membrane and the nucleus. It is called the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contains all the basic things like carbohydrates, proteins, water, minerals, oxygen and fats needed for the growth of living organisms. The cytoplasm stores food in the form of glucose in an animal cell. But it stores food in the form of starch in a plant cell. Some important cell organelles like the mitochondria, the ribosomes, the vacuoles, plastids, Golgi bodies and centrioles are also found in the cytoplasm. Cell organelles like mitochondria, ribosomes and Golgi bodies are found both in the plant cell and the animal cell. But centrioles are found only in the animal cell. And plastids are found only in the plant cell. All these cell organelles perform various living activities like respiration, nutrition and excretion.